There was no mandate to shut down tennis. However, state and federal officials urged them strongly to do so. Now they're coming back. We spoke with a Winston-Salem dentist who reopened his practice today. Are you comfortable? I am. My daughter and I have both been doing this for years. We feel very comfortable doing it. We're both working as wide open as we can. And we're happy to do it. Dr. Tony Porter, a dentist for 30 years, says the new normal for his practice is sneeze guards at the front desk, taking patients' temperatures, and then making them wait in the car. Our waiting room, so to speak, is no longer anything more than a fancy hallway. They don't spend time in the waiting room. They spend time waiting in their car. They go straight to their treatment area without having to wait. We don't have con people congregating in our waiting room anymore. Outside of emergency cases, Dr. Porter saw his first routine patient today. Are they expressing some concern? Are they looking to get their both, teeth cleaned? What? We're seeing both sides of the coin. Some people are calling, begging to come in because they know their time to come in and get things done. Other people are concerned. And for the, those that are concerned, we just keep telling them, we've been seeing patients for decades with the assumption, what we call universal precautions. Universal precaution is assuming that every patient is potentially sick, and then taking steps to prevent that sickness from spreading, says Dr. Porter. We've always treated everybody as if there was something that needed to be taken care of, that their whatever they had might be contagious. So we would have masks, gloves, gowns, we wipe down the equipment, we, you know, we sterilize everything, so we make sure that if there, are anything, if there is anything wrong with that particular patient, it's not transmitted to the next patient in line. I point out the close interaction involving a visit to the dentist and ask Dr. Porter, can this be done safely during a pandemic? Yeah, we're not six feet apart. We're six inches from somebody's face. So a little exactly. more personal. <laughs> this is very close and personal. Yeah. So what makes you think that this can be done in a safe manner? Well, again, I think the universal precautions that we've been using for years are going to go a long way to help protect us. I mean, we've been dealing with hepatitis, tuberculosis, HIV, all the different things that have been out for decades, and we managed to handle that very well. I think we're going to do this the same. Dr. Porter says he has received federal aid to help keep his business going during the shutdown. He says the biggest obstacle to reopening was finding enough personal protection equipment, such as face masks. Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.